Hey guys, welcome to episode 6 of the Dortmund Club, and I'm going to kick it off with the game against Leverkusen here. They're currently second in the league. We're currently like seven points behind the team in fourth place. We need, we need to get a massive win here against Leverkusen. Actually, we're going to switch to a 4 4 1 1 uh, with uh, Starks playing that centre mid role player that we brought in in the joining shots. We're nursing with uh, Rido Baku. And let's just get into this one with Hamid Kudus up front because obviously Adiemi got injured. Sebastian Haller isn't playing as well recently, so I'm giving Kudus a chance at strike as to what he can do. Yeah, let's get into this one, but before we do that, don't forget to drop a like in the video, uh, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications so don't miss any videos. And let's get into this. And it's Signal Juno Park, and hopefully, we do our sort of, sort of poor performances we put in uh, last episode. Well, we have kind of been putting away our chances, but we haven't been uh, solidified at their back, which means we've been seeing too many goals. And Julian Brandt now, I guess it's former team, could he score here? Julian Brandt. Hideki makes another save. I cannot remember the score last time we took on Leverkusen. Oh my goodness, not. A bit of skill there from Kudos. From here to Bellingham, bottom right hand corner. And it's in. Or oh, bottom, uh, depends what side of the keeper you're looking at there, to be honest. It's bottom, uh, yeah, it's bottom right for me there. But uh, Jude Bellingham scores here. Obviously, a player that we're going to be letting go in season two. That's confirmed. Please, isn't. We've not agreed a transfer fee this year of any team or what team is going to. We're going to be selling him just to keep it a little bit realistic. But as you can see, Kudos gets it in there. Bellingham completely wide open, puts him up as Hideki. But this is the thing though. Last episode, we started off to, uh, started off well. We scored first in some games and then we end up conceding too many goals and losing the game due to that. Let's hopefully, well, let's hope that this defence can hold it together for this game and we can pick up a big three points up against uh, Leverkusen here. I just don't know what it is that's uh, happened realistically with our defence. So when you look at our defence, it should be one of the best in the league, but we've conceded 50 goals. Leverkusen have already conceded 24 now. Bellingham. From here to Kudos. Can we make it 25? Kudos denied by Hideki. Kasuno just about keeps us in. And it's done well there. That's impressive by Kudos. Uh, but, oh, no. Completely messed it up. And Marlon missed. Got, you got given a golden chance by Leverkusen. You've hit the post. Let's open it aim at uh, far post. Try to bend it around the keeper, but he went no post and tried to bend it in front of the keeper. It's never going to work. Bellingham now. Daniel Mallon now. Oh, it's a great little bit of footwork with Evan Daniel Mallon, but he's missed again. That's two chances he should have scored. St. Graven, the man who was brought on four in the door when he got injured. Not a like for like swap. But what a save from Koblen after the incredible header from uh, Demabai there. It's a great effort from him. Somehow we're only uh, one up there after we've had like eight chances that should have been goals. Bellingham, that's a great steal there on Musa Diaby. Chief Bellingham now, the man who got the goal to give us the lead. He needs some help here. Chief Bellingham goes it alone though. No. Chief Bellingham, can he cut that back? Kudos. Oh, why didn't he hit it first? Oh, we won a pen. I'm not sure about that refereeing decision, but we've had a couple go their way, obviously, in terms of like the penalties we've been, uh, we've had get, uh, taken against us. That maybe ain't a penalty, but we're going to take it. Why is it giving me the... Okay. Marco Royce. Can you make it 2-0 just before half-time? Marco Royce. Okay. We've had the worst of the penalties this season. We've conceded so many of them, and we've barely scored any. Marco Royce in. Schlotterbeck. Can you score here? Schlotterbeck, Hideki. Someone test it, man. Because it's, it's his greatest performance to see Hideki put in. Ever. Your stock. Can you win that start? Go just straight at Hideki. Someone in the wall, so I put him out of it. We got uh, the ball there. And Starch can win the ball forward. We need a runner. He's got one technically here with Mambe Kudos. Mambe Kudos. Oh, I can't get Rani Kapia there. But he actually has in the end. Better than that. Ryerson, a finish, bottom left hand corner, Marco Royce makes it 2-0. I had to focus there with that finish, because I wanted to take a touch, but I knew if I take a touch, Hideki was going to save it, so I had to just take the risk and hit it first time. I have to find the formation. Hideki should be saving that, considering all the shots he saved in this game, that we've uh, fired at him, this is the one that goes in. Abaku, Sula. Bellingham, he scored a long shot last episode, and Bellingham! This was a strike from so far out, absolutely sensational, unstoppable! 
I feel like he's trying to convince me to keep him. You know, but like, I can't. I've made the decision. But what a goal by Jude Bellingham. Finish, you know, the RB, oh, good word there from Baku. We played ourselves into trouble there. I say we played ourselves, I played myself into trouble. It's a good looking ball in behind. I cut it back, yes they are, but they find it eventually and there's the finish. He's it away. A I know exactly what they wanted to do, but they still find it and Holshek makes it 3-1 here. Well, as you can see, what an excellent backfield this is to set up. I see us open Sidor with trap back, but he kept going forward and then not sure why he's off completely wide open. Not sure why Ryerson's running away, but he makes it 3-1. And we just need to not let him back into this game. Well, Baku, what have you done? So a throw in. How have you managed that? That was his first touch. Okay, ref blow the whistle in 20 seconds. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. There's no reason for you to play on. There's no reason for you to play on. Okay, Baku, just take it to the corner. There you go, thank you ref. That's a big three points and a big performance from this team. Okay, well it's second leg of the Champions League uh, round of 16 time and as you can see Royce isn't going to start this one. It's going to be Brent, uh, Cam and uh, Rainer down the right for this one and Emery trying to centre-back due to Nicolas Sula being tired. And uh, as you can see we're 5-2 down, we crumbled in the home leg. We shouldn't have conceded five goals, we should have scored more goals but somehow uh, their goalkeeper put in an absolutely incredible performance and we just crumbled under the pressure they put us under. And uh, the second David Neres came on because he didn't start the last game. He tore us apart down the wing. Which uh, shows you why I brought him in, into the AC Milan series. If you watch that, that's why I brought him in because I know he could do that. But let's get into this one at Benfica Stadium. And let's try and pull off a miracle here because it's an impossible miracle. But sometimes, sometimes if things go your way, it happens. Let's get into this game and let's hope everything goes our way. Oh, that is not the pass I wanted. That ain't the pass I wanted. Don't do this to me again. I aim a pass in a certain direction. Play it in that direction. Julian Brandt. Kudos. Very hard. Kudos. There we go. Get the ball. Literally, as the commentators are saying, if they're getting an early goal, we have a chance and we literally do it. Our game plan works. Just holding the ball, just passing it around, looking for the option. Brandt plays it through the centre. Kudos. Rifles it past the goalkeeper. Under the pressure. Doesn't crumble and puts us ahead on the night but we're still two goals behind on aggregate so we need to get two more without them getting one we was on the other end of the pitch last time so hopefully we can deal with him I'm going to switch that here that is not a switch but it's an incredible through ball that I did not mean to play if Julian Brent scores Daniel Marlin I wanted to switch that to Riddle Baku I was aiming for Riddle Baku there but that pass from Daniel Marlin this probably one the greatest pass I've seen in this game and I didn't mean to do it, well, here it is again. we don't know we need to see this again it's a great finish from Julian Brandt though it's an incredible an incredible finish but the pass from Daniel Marlin under pressure being tracked back like he just takes one look there I'm looking for Robaku or whoever's out there you know what I mean on the right side of the pitch I don't see Julian Brandt there Daniel Marlon does, and he's like, you know what, we're going to try it. It gets lucky that he goes past him here, he makes a run in behind. Holds up the defender, Otamendi, and just rifles it into the top corner of the post, or into the bottom corner of the post. What, what a goal. And he can't go from scoring that goal, he's scored, and like, oh, good, there's it's done well. There's shot a beck, you need to stop him, but Cobble's done so. Wait, what? The whistle didn't even go. Absolutely right. It's a penalty and a yellow card. Oh no, it's a contact, it's a contact. No, 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 no. VAR, VAR, VAR. We need VAR right now. Why is this uh oh, it's that? It's a contact. Oh no, come on man. It's linear for is linear for because he hit it. And it's left like trails. Nah, that ain't... Oh, come on, man. That ain't a pen. Can we deny Geddes here? 
couple, oh, a couple, you could have stopped. You could have stopped. It wasn't a pen. A couple could have stopped it. Now we're back within two. How could he have stopped it? I don't know. I feel like he could have done. Okay, back here with Draxler plays well against you, man. Like, sorry, but Draxler shouldn't be against you around a good play there. Start now. I can find my cuddles. Mohamed Kudos, good work there. Mohamed Kudos, make it with him one again off the post. You have to bury that Kudos. Adi Emi buries that. Oh, it's off the post, oh, off the crossbar, sorry, I thought it was off the post. Is that going to be the moment we look back on in this game? Florentino. Braxler now. Back in the good work now. Reyna, Reyna to travel the ball forward, looking to earn himself a spot in his team. Brown, Kudos, good piece of play. Get the ball. That's a great bit of play right there. And this is just going to be a shootout. We're just on smoke today. We just want goals. That's all we care about. We obviously need to defend, but that's a great pass and another great pass there and a great finish. And we're back with him one. Now, referee, don't screw us over this time. Giorena, hold him off. Oh, great bit of strength there from Giorena. And another great, that's a free kick. Ref, we're going to take that. We're going to take that free kick. That's a great show of strength there from Giorena and a great run as well. Julian Brandt. 73, uh, 73 accuracy. Anyone better on the pitch? No. Julian Brandt, can you earn your, can you show that without Marco Royce, you can step up? He's buried his off the wall. Second attempt. Julian Brand deflected. Good save from the keeper. Corner there for Brand. That's yours. Oh, it isn't. Somehow it wasn't. Why not? Is that Chan? Okay. Deflected. Oh, Bellingham. That's great. Bury that. There we go. We're back in this game. We're back on aggregate level. Daniel Marlon. Wasn't the nicest looking goal we've ever scored, but it's a goal nonetheless. And we've done what Benfica did to us, just take us apart at home and just take the crowd out of the game. That's always the game plan when you're in the waiting. Take the crowd out of the game and the, the, the belief just isn't there. Daniel Marlon, great tracking back. Oh, Daniel Marlon, great steal again. Apologising for any mistakes. Oh, that's great for a ball. That is, oh, I could have tried to bury that. Marlon's pass in this episode is different. I'm not sure what's changed, but for some reason he's playing some absolutely insane passes. But could have tried to score that. That's yours. Honestly, I think Stark in that midfield role is just a cheat code. It's been 6 4. Oh, Mohamed Kudos and Julian Brandt are just linking up. It's like butter right now. We're just cutting through butter with a hot knife. Remember the thousand degree knife challenge back in the day? That's what we are right now to this Benfica defence. What is this Benfica team in general? We're just cutting through it insanely smoothly. Kudos and Brandt are linking up together. And this is a great sign up. Without Marco Royce, Julian Brandt is going to perform to this level. What a performance this has been, man. This is, what I, this is what I hoped it would be. And it's actually come through for once. I had to Baku. Baku, given the space to hit one. It's about to to Mendy. It's out for another corner. Can we get one more? Julian Brandt now from the corner. Start or Schlotterbeck. Someone, Schlotterbeck rises and Schlotterbeck hits it in. Honestly. I'm not sure what's happened. I think I'm just in that mindset where I just, I'm like, I obviously want to win every game I play, but right now I'm playing with just that, like, determination that just anything I can do to win, that's what I'm playing with right now. I'm doing whatever I can to win, and just, I'm just focusing to another degree, and just to show that I have not changed anything about the sliders that you saw last episode. Just in case anyone out there says, so I can see 38 shot error, 35, uh, 70, this is the same for me, I'll show you as in a second. And uh, run frequency to 70, so they make more runs, so they get more attacks. 
Uh, first edge control error down to 30. And ours, as you can see, is all 50. Other than injuries, everything here is 50. We're on ultimate competitor mode turned on. It's just we're back to our original form. We're back to the form we were at the start of the season. To be fair, he's read last episode that he's um, stepping up. He was one of the best players that we had last episode. Oh, Grimaldo is in here. Oh, what are you doing, Cobble? I told him to stop coming out when he got to the uh, six yard line. I was like, you know what, you're not going to be able to get to the wall, just go back to the goal. And he just kept running out, and for some reason he, he went to get the ball, even though he couldn't get it. Like, right here, I stopped him. But he keeps going, and what is he doing in there? Why is he still in? We have done. Right, so now. Through Bellingham. Daniel Marlin to get himself a goal, he's deserved one this episode. I mean, he does have one in this game, but he deserves a nice goal. Corner here, Julian Brandt. Can we get another one from a corner? Stock going in for that one, doesn't win it. Reina now. Stock. Chavella Stock into the back of the net. There we go. 9 7. And I will simulate the rest of this game, but I don't trust it. I really don't. We're going to play out the rest of the game. But Anton Stock, I believe that was his first goal for us. I believe that's his first goal that he scored as a Dortmund player since I brought him in in January. And he just gets the space and just fudged out, I'm hitting it. Blindsided, the keeper's blindsided by Kudelsan, a couple of Benfica players, he's late. And can't stop it going in. Shadow well, up now. There's it through. Julian Draxler. Okay, what has happened there? Half is scored again. He's got more strength. Get back a great challenge that time. I can bring the ball forward again. How has it been this many goals in this game? Kudos. Yeah, there we go. 10 8 on aggregate. How has it been 18 goals in two games of football? I mean, this would go down as a Champions League classic. This is giving me Man, Man City versus Monaco vibes. I'm like, I can't remember what year it was. It's when um, Mbappe was still at Monaco. That's the Thomas Lamar, but Bernardo Silva was there as well. All those years ago. It's giving me vibes of that game where it was, just, where it was goals after goal after goal after goal after goal. And luckily, we're on the uh, winning side, hopefully. Oh, Brandt. Oh, that's cold. Brandt, get that. Start, hits it. Was it Stark? I don't even know, but that was that was a great bit of play. Coming towards the end of the game here, can we get one more? And there's the delivery. Stark, oh, I can't win a header. You know, just hit that. Oh, it's Emery Chan. He's, he's messed it up as well. well I think the had it covered, but but we're going to win this head, game. Though. Somehow we pulled it back. I really didn't know how we'd done it. Alright, so win that. There we go. And that's going to be the end of the game. And we somehow made it through to the quarterfinals. Everything looked like it was going to get either way. But we got the win we deserved. To be fair, we didn't deserve to lose the first leg. So it goes the way it deserved to go in the end. And what an episode we got shaped up here. Okay, we're seeing this game up against uh, the 12th place for Tablin here with the second team. I can see back here, we scored twice. Heller missed a penalty. But Gia Reina came and scored a goal in the 79th. It's so a killer victory for us. That's a big win. Uh, should put his three points behind Leverkusen now, depending on their result elsewhere. But let's gain to our next game up against Werder Bremen. I hope we pick up a victory there as well. Okay, as you can see, up against the uh, 15 players Werder Bremen, we picked up a 3 0 victory with Cordus Heller and Makoko grabbing the goals. That puts us hopefully level on points with Leverkusen because going into this game, we'll be three points behind them, depending on results elsewhere. We should be uh, level with points in them, or at least we're going to stay three points behind them. Okay, up against uh, Gladbach here, we're still three points behind Leverkusen, so our win here would be massive for our season. So we're going to quit on this one here. And we'll pick up a 4-2 victory. Makoko, Sebastian Haller and Bakayoko scoring the goals of the Sia. And hopefully we now go level on points. But now I have to take on Napoli in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Let's get into that one. And honestly, getting knocked out of the Champions League right now could be a huge blessing for our season. So I kind of hope we do lose in our way. Because I feel like if we get knocked out in the quarterfinals, we've done well enough that we uh, 
can be proud of our season in the, uh, campaign in that uh, competition. And losing to Napoli isn't a worse team to lose to. So let's get into that one. I mean, obviously, I'll try to win, but if we do end up losing, then I feel like we have a, a better chance at doing well in the league. Okay, well, after that impossible comeback up against Benfica, we're going to have to take on Napoli, uh, led by the likes of Ozzy Men, obviously, Kovacic, Keria, Ozzy Men, Zielinski. Some incredible players, Kim Minjia, they signed uh, Yuri and Timba as well. So they've only got better and they haven't sold any big players as well, from what I can tell. Let's get into this one. At the Steady Olympico. And as I mentioned, if we lose, it ain't the end of the world because we can focus on the Bundesliga and the Pokal and uh, try to do as well as we can in those competitions. I think we should win the Pokal no matter what. But obviously, uh, focusing on the Champions League could hinder our season a little bit. But we're going to go into this one trying to win. But as I mentioned, if we lose, I won't be too mad about it. I'll be understanding of what we could achieve. Uh, it'll be kind of a blessing in disguise, which I hope you guys understand as well. But as I mentioned, I'm going to try to win this game still. I hope you. Uh, I just want you to know that. I'm going to try to win. And if I lose, I didn't lose on purpose. That's what I'm trying to get across here. Reyna, that's great work there from Reyna. And Marco Reus. Can we get that to Kudos? Yes, you can. Kudos can't get a strike away though. Yuri and Timber denies his former Ajax teammate. Sort of back. Great defending. Kedria Reyna. Stark. Some power behind this one. Stark off the crossbar. Did your Malin never go? What a shot from Stark, though. That was an incredible shot from Stark hitting the crossbar. Daniel Marlin opens the scoring up. We completely dominated Napoli in this opening, like, 30 minutes or whatever it's been. They haven't had a single opportunity. The second Aussie man gets in the ball, we're on them. But this strike here from Stark was rifled off the crossbar. Marlin gets there, and Moret can't recover in time. Di Lorenzo wasn't ready. And uh, we capitalise it. Uh, we capitalise on the chance, and we go, what the Lord? Moret could have saved that, actually, looking at that. Watch it carry on out. Okay, how has he actually got through there? We've got a score here. Zielinski. No, no, not Kasula. Great defending. It's going to be a corner though. Zielinski somehow got injured there. What, what was a penalty? Oh, Drew Bellingham. Incredible. Driving there with the ball. And that Kudos. Can he make it too? Mohamed Kudos to chip my rect. He's got there and he's done it. Mohamed Kudos. What is happening? The juxtaposition between episodes is insane. Last episode, we were losing games we deserve to win. This episode, well, we're winning games we deserve to win. But you know what I mean? Like, we were just not performing to the levels we can. This is a level we should be playing at. And Kudos has done incredible there. He's completely blown, like, the dynamic of this team wide open. Because I thought it was going to be it was going to be a backup cam, but he's earned himself the starting striking role. Great closing down the options there. The start can everyone else. Baku, oh that had to be yours. Oh no, I've actually carried uh, oh, oh, it. Oh, was offside. Okay. Such. Oh no, that is not the pass I was looking for, man. As in, man. It's going to be. Oh, why does it always happen like this, man? Why does it always happen like that? You aim a pass in a completely different direction. And it gives the ball straight to them. And then they just score. Like, I won't mind if they earned their goal. You know what I mean? Like they played, a, they played some good football and scored. But when you can see that, like, when you aim a pass, when you aim a pass in a completely opposite direction, and it just, for some reason, goes straight into an, uh, one of the opposition players and goes into your goal. I just feel like the game just went, no, we're going to score a goal. I'm just going to override what you just did and we're going to give, give ourselves a goal. And now they've got the momentum, but we're going to just... Do what we're doing our game, we're just going to control the game. And Daniel Marlin, we're going to make a decision earlier this time. And Daniel Marlin just wide to the post. We're just closing down, giving no option. We're giving them one, one option there, though. Oh, no. One minute left. Can't allow this to happen. Baku, let's take him out if you have to. Oh no. You should have taken a free kick. You should have taken a free kick, Napoli, because we're going to clear that and we're going to come out victors in the first leg. 
Okay, going into this game against Bochum, we are actually level on points with Leverkusen. They've got Slotbeck in their team. They signed him from uh, Freiburg, I believe. Interesting side in there. They've got the other Slotbeck. We'll pick up a 2-1 victory. Back here, could grab in a late goal for us. And Makoko grabbing the other goal of the game. And that could put us into fourth place, depending on Leverkusen's results. Okay, well, for the final game in the episode here, we could back ourselves a place in the Champions League semi-finals in the home leg up against Napoli here in the Champions League. The reason why this is the final game in the episode because it's been an absolutely insane episode so far. We've had so much going on. So many massive games and so many incredible performances and so many like just goals in general. That one game against Benfica has taken up so much of the episode. Let's get into this one against Napoli at home. And um, as I said before, at home, we had a crumble. But did we beat Leverkusen at home? I'm not too sure. Or were we away? I'm not too sure off the top of my head. But um, hopefully we don't crumble at home and um, somehow I'll make it to a semi-final if we uh, win this game here. Well, this promises to be a great game, Derek. Yes, Dortmund have Daniel decided... Oh, Daniel Wallen. But there wasn't much between the two teams. Oh, Daniel Wallen's passing. Kudos. Sorry for me being quiet there, I was just an all out of the pass and then the finish on Cuddles and I actually cannot believe we are on track right now to be Champions League semi-finalists. Like, what has happened? Watch should Kelly in out against Slotterbeck and Slotterbeck, great challenge. Oh, what have you done? How's he man? Oh no. Couple Aussie men scores. Oh no. Oh no, that's a poor goal to be conceding. They put the pressure on us and we crumbled. That's what happened last episode. Grayson. I mean, that's a far ref, but we're going to move. Just like that. We're Trivella merchants right now. New Madden. Blocked. Can we get to the, can we get to the second one? No, we can't. My right has to clear. That's sure. Still back, surely. Bellingham. All right, let's hit that. Bicycle kick attempt. Good save by the keeper. Well, this is a great opportunity to extend their lead and just make yeah, Brunt into the box. Okay, Slabek saw picked up. Has Slabek picked up an injury? And he wasn't involved in any of the play there. Okay. Oh no. How they got an attack out of this? Politano's also starting down the wing. He usually plays well against me, Politano. Slabek. Oh no. But Shakira, yeah, he was offside though. Slabek, please on it off. Has it got through though? How did that get through? How did that get through, man? The level on aggregate. Oh, why, why does he move to the right last second? I'm actually holding him in the perfect position to block the pass, and for some reason, Slabek just moves out of the way. Daniel Marlin. Oh, it's incredible from Daniel Marlin. Daniel Marlin now. Oh, Marlin, Marlin needs to stop. Oh, Moret has stopped him. But Daniel Marlin, what an episode he has had. He's reinvented himself. He was on the verge of possibly being sold. Genuinely. I wasn't happy with him. Kudos. He needs to get that shot away faster. But actually... Okay, don't. Thought he was going to get challenged, but he got the shot away. But Moret was ready for it and managed to get the challenge. Well, make the block, sorry, with the, with the save. That's what I'm trying to say. Actually, right now, Chavella. But post Bellingham needed to attack that faster. Oh, has he? Has he been over the top here? To Paritano, Ryerson. Shot a bit, great challenge. Keep it in. Could have worked there. And then your Marlin. Can we go to the other end and get an opportunity? Then your Marlin. Ruining the crowd of this fullback, if it's the Lorenzo. Right, and that. Bellingham. Oh, good work from Wengisa there, just expected him to cut in, and he did. Oh no, Azimane's in. Azimane. Great challenge. No, that ain't a pen. The fact you're not given a card proves it ain't a penalty. VAR, yeah, again, we're going to VAR on this episode. Obviously, it doesn't make any difference. I can't overturn a decision, unfortunately. Is this 
a fair challenge. It goes through. It goes through Palitano, but it gets the... Does he get the ball first? I don't know. It's a hard one. It's one of those where, like, yeah, he does get the ball first, surely, right? There's no contact here. Yep, no contact there. There's contact to the yeah. But he's not going down at that point. It's still going. It goes down here after Emre Chan touches the ball. Ah, it's, it's a 50 50, but oh, Napoli could go ahead in this tie here if we don't make the save. Cobble goes top right and saves it. Okay, put my hands back on the controller. I just celebrated that because I thought it was going to go out. Can't wait now, Daniel Marlin. The energy in the Signal Junior Park, driving the team. Oh, of course. Oh, but win the ball back though. Now let's see what they can do here. Oh, my goodness. Drives inside and hits it off the crossbar. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. This has been the most dramatic episode I've ever recorded in Chroma history. Great defending there from Schlotterbeck and Bison. Two men, good cross, but Sark is there. Junior Brandt now. Carries ball. Waiting for an option. Gets one with Rayner. We're going to go alone. Junior Brandt. We go all the way with Junior Brandt. We're going to hit that. Junior Brandt, what a save from Alex Moret. That's an unreal save. The fact we're not going to get a hell out of that is a, is a robbery. I'll replay that, sorry. Schlotterbeck. That's yours, that's wide. Oh, this drama is too much. Is it for the centre, Zielinski? Oh, that's good footwork from Zielinski, but great goalkeeper on Cobble. Well, he had to get that right, didn't he? That's good goalkeeping. Letting him now. Pass to Daniel Malin wasn't the greatest, but he's done well to create something out of this. And now... And my cuddles. Daniel Marlin. Daniel Marlin now from the impossible angle. Almost made it possible. Schlabek bring the ball forward. Giorena. Giorena, Captain America hits it off the crossbar. Baku. Baku off the post. That's it, man. Free kick for us. Okay. Play it short here. Shan hits it. Save by Moret. Oh, the drama is unreal. This is such a great game. It's one of the greatest games of FIFA I've ever played. Hands down. It's so fun to play. Header wide. Girona, cross it in. Lucky for Drew Bellingham. Couldn't find him. Stark win that header, please. Get Gio Reyna, hit that. Gio Reyna, block. Stark win that. Referee, don't blow the whistle. If you blow the whistle, oh, it's going to out of play. It's going to be extra time. Back in, oh, you need to stop Kovacic Kelly. Hey, you can't let him, oh, let him get into the danger zone. Kovacic Kelly plays it across. Ozzy men. Okay, how, how? Zielinski, good save from Cobble. Corner though. Corner went in, head that clear. You could have got that, you literally could have got that to your reina. For some reason, you're giving it to Zielinski. Kim and Jay. Schlotterbeck though, great work. Reina now. Reina bringing the ball forward. Good hold up play. Baku. Back here. To Stark, hits it. Marek parries it again. Bellingham now. To Marco. Royce is wide. A moment was there. A moment was there for Marco Royce to win us up. Win that, win that, win that, win that. Shot back. Okay, he's got it. He's actually got it straight to Marco Royce as well. Marco Royce. Roll back the years. Marco Royce, hit that. Marco Royce. My idol centers to a Champions League semi final off the bench. With an absolute incredible strike. In a dramatic game for the ages. We're celebrating as if we won the game. We haven't won the game just yet. There's like eight minutes left. But if that is the goal to send us to a Champions League final 
and Marco Royce has just proven why he's a legend. Sula, oh no, it's somebody trying, sorry, not Sula. I know about that. Spadori, Rearson, Bryson. Oh, what has happened? Cobble, what a save. Stark wins the header. Oh, that's now on the ball. Stark win it. Get this. Stark. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. A challenge of a lifetime for Member Trenders to come in. But it's actually Baku. And we're through. A miracle in, benefit in, in, in uh, Portugal. A miracle in Germany. What an episode this has been. Okay, well, to end the episode, as you can see, we're still fifth in the league, but we are only, well, we are level on points at Leverkusen, only uh, four points behind to earn, uh, Leipzig, sorry. And so we've scored 80 goals this season. We've only conceded four in the league this episode, which has been incredible. The fact that we've actually managed to uh, draw that back. But we've taken on Fra uh, Frank Fert at the start of the episode, who are behind us in the league by nine points. So they're a tough team that in sixth, trying to hold off Freiburg, uh, trying to get into those uh, European spots. And in the Pokal, we're going to be taking on Schalke in the semi-finals. And then in the Champions League, if we, we don't know yet. It could be Milan, it could be Madrid, it could be Porto, it could be Bayern. But it's going to either be it's going to be Leipzig, Bayern or Real Madrid, in my opinion. And I think it might be Bayern. If it's Bayern Munich or Real Madrid, and we're set, or even Leipzig, and we're set for a massive, massive semi-final tie. But what an episode has this been? The fact we managed to somehow turn around the poor performances we've had last episode and turn this episode into a huge win has been unreal. And honestly, this needs to happen. Reina starts down the right. Baku needs to be a right one back. There we go. And yeah, like if you're wondering what I actually did to uh, help this team out, I dropped the uh, depth down to 65. It was on 80. I dropped it to 65 and it's made a huge difference with our defence. Instead of the team having to chase down players to get in through, they can, like, they're stepping up enough where they can obviously still get beaten by through balls and stuff like that. But a majority of the time, they're just there to put in that first challenge straight away. The second they get the ball, we saw it against Ozzyman. The second they got the ball, we were on him. And he couldn't do anything there. And honestly, I feel like Marco Royce has to start in the team. You know what I mean? Brandt's been incredible this episode, but Marco Royce, it's, it's Marco Royce. Like, that goal, he just scored the goal to send us through to a semi final in the Champions League off the bench. He only played eight minutes, or like, yeah, like eight minutes of football, or about ten minutes, I should say. He played ten minutes of football in that game, and scored the winner. Like, what a season this is going to be! Like, the fact we aren't going to be as successful as we wanted to be in the league, it's kind of a downside. But the fact we could upset the Champions League massively, the fact we thought we were out, I thought we were out against Benfica. I thought we'd you know, we're going to smoke us in the second leg. They were just going to uh, control the game and take us out, but it didn't. We did that to them. And then Napoli, they were probably, that's probably one of my favourite, that's uh, my best two games of FIFA, I think, uh, in terms of like, the most fun I've had, and like the drama, just the tension, everything is up there. That, that's some of the favourite Champions League titles I've played in FIFA in, in like all the years of playing this game. But that's going to be the end of the episode. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications so don't miss the video. And uh, what a season finale we could have next episode. Honestly, either way, it's going to be a good season finale. And hopefully we'll win the Pokal. And hopefully we can at least ch uh, challenge in the Champions League next episode. Because the way this team's playing right now, I, couldn't, I, I, I feel like we actually could win the Champions League, which is a madness. But let's get into... Well, not get into the next episode. Let's um, end the episode here. And yeah, thank you for watching and goodbye.